I'm Stephen Clary, filmmaker, photographer, and Panasonic Lumix ambassador. One of the most important topics to understand when it comes to video is frame rate. In this video, we're going to talk about two frame rate concepts, project frame rate and shooting frame rates, as well as discussing how to shoot in high frame rates with the S1H. The project frame rate is the frame rate that you will deliver the final video in. For cinema, this might be 24 frames per second, for PAL regions, 25 frames per second, and for NTSC regions, 30 frames per second. With the release of higher frame rate capable cameras, films like The Hobbit have been delivered natively in 48 frames per second, and now even 120 frames per second films have been released, such as Ang Lee's Gemini Man. In many cases, however, the project frame rate you choose will be dictated by the delivery format of the video. With digital projection and web viewing, constraints around project frame rates are slowly reducing. The shooting frame rate is the one you will choose in the camera. If you wish to record normal speed video, you simply select the same shooting frame rate as the project frame rate. For example, if you're shooting in 24 frames per second for 24 frames per second delivery, the result will be normal speed video. For creative uses, we can then choose to either undercrank or overcrank our footage. Overcranking is the process of shooting at a higher frame rate, such as 60 frames per second for a delivery at a lower frame rate, such as 30 frames per second. If you shoot one second of footage at 60 frames per second and then deliver in 30 frames per second, this will result in a two second times two slow motion clip, as the footage will now be stretched over twice the amount of time. The S1H I have here is capable of shooting of up to 180 frames per second in full HD, allowing up to 7.5 times slow motion. The less commonly method used is undercranking, which is where we use a slower frame rate to shoot in, in order to speed up reality. This is often done in action scenes, car chases and time lapses where we need to add a little bit more drama. So the high frame rates in the S1H. The S1H currently has two modes of high frame rates. You have the VFR mode and the HFR mode. The VFR mode or variable frame rate automatically conforms high frame rates into slow motion with no audio or autofocus available. The VFR mode is accessed by selecting a record quality mode that indicates VFR is available, such as the full HD 8-bit 25 frames per second. The frame rate of the recording mode you select will determine how the footage is conformed. Once you have selected a compatible recording quality, the variable frame rate menu option will be available to select. And then here you can select your shooting frame rate. If you select 50 frames per second in VFR and a 25 frames per second recording mode, the camera will automatically conform 50 frames per second into a 25 frames per second clip, giving you a times two slow motion footage. You can also use the undercranking options such as two frames per second to produce time-lapse like footage on the fly. If you need slow motion, as well as autofocus and audio, the S1H comes with a number of high frame rate modes, such as 4K 60p and FHD 120p. These modes are stored in the native frame rate formats and aren't conformed to slow motion ready file. These are ideal if you wish to deliver content natively at 60p or 48p HFR, or if you wish to slow down the footage whilst retaining autofocus and audio. These are the frame rate options on the new Lumix S1H camera. Panasonic.